the year is 2002, and I am a 12-year-old boy laying on top of a van in the middle of a cornfield watching the movie Signs, which is about aliens taking over a farm of corn, which made the movie even more terrifying, as I thought there might be aliens in the corn around me. This is my most vivid memory of going to the movies ever, and it happened at a drive-in in Indiana. And that's what we're talking about today, is how drive-ins are an experience for seeing a movie that is far and beyond better than any movie theater you can go to. Let's get into it. Welcome, daddios, to the Indie Dads Podcast. I'm your host, Ethan Reese, a dad who's trying just like you, and this show is dedicated to to the joys and challenges of fatherhood in Indiana and beyond. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the Indie Dads podcast, because when it comes to being a dad, we're all in this together. All right, daddios, we got another great get out there and do something episode for you today. And today we're talking about Movie drive-ins. Just like in Greece, you got Danny Zuko stranded at the drive-in. Well, hopefully you won't be stranded with your family. Now, that may sound old school to some of you. Maybe some of you got to experience it when it was real popular back in like the 70s and 80s. And some of us may have never actually been because they continue to lose more and more drive-ins every year. We're going to go over you know, why drive-ins are great. Why do you want to go to them and experience it? And we'll go over some of the drive-ins that are still in Indiana, still going, and great options for you to go to and experience with your family. So what are drive-ins? Drive-in movie theaters, very simply, it's a movie. You drive your car and watch the movie. You can be in your car. You can be out of your car. In Indiana, it's very popular to have your truck and lay back in the back of the bed of your truck. Or you can enjoy being inside your car and watching the movie just through the front windshield. It's a very different experience, but some of us got a chance to experience it more during the pandemic because these were the only type of movies you could go to. So they did have a little bit of a boom there. And my hope is that it continues to grow in popularity because it's a great value on top of being just a fun experience. So the reasons why to go to a drive-in. One, it's so much easier, especially with kids. Oh my goodness. So, so, so much easier. Movie theaters have rules that you can't bring in your own snacks. Even though some of us probably have. They, you're not supposed to bring in your own snacks. So you have to buy snacks from, the, from there. Now, understand that. This is where they make most of their money. That's why they do this. But at a drive-in, it's different. You can bring coolers. You can bring a whole meal to eat while you watch a movie there. So it can feel like you're, you know, just watching a movie on your own TV, you know, eating dinner or having pizza or whatever it is. You can bring whatever you want to go watch that movie. You get the savings from that aspect of it as well. You can make your own popcorn. You can get popcorn. They still have concessions. At most of these locations, so you can still get the popcorn you like, or if there's candy you like to eat while watching movies, all that stuff you can still get, but you can also bring your own stuff and you know save a little bit of dough that way. Another thing is you can get comfortable how you like to watch movies. You like to lay down and watch a movie, you can lay down in the back of the truck and watch a movie or your SUV and lay down and enjoy it. You lay a picnic out, you can have those comfy lawn chairs. Now, movie theaters nowadays are going to the more comfy recliners. If you want to bring a recliner, you can bring a recliner. But most likely, you're probably not going to bring that. A little tip, though, if you do have a truck, bring a air mattress and blow it up in the back. Very, very comfortable to go do that that way. But you can enjoy it. You can get up and move around. And you don't have to just be, like, there. And that's really good for your kids. Like, it's so much Better that you don't have to just worry about them crying or having a meltdown or something like that. You can, they're outside. They can 
be distracted a little bit. They don't have to just focus on the movie. Because if you have younger kids, it's going to be very hard to just get them to focus on a movie sometimes. And it's just a different experience. They don't have to feel like you don't have to feel the pressure of like, oh, no, they're going to be scared. You can really have them more like you're at home. Or you're with your car, so it's a place that they feel comfortable with as well. So it's just easier to have kids that's, you know, to feel like they're going to ruin someone else's experience. It's really, really nice. Another reason is the experience is very different. Most of these places are going to play movies that are classics or movies you've seen or that you want to see. If you really go in and go see that big, superhero movie or the avatar like movies you're probably going to go to a theater imax you know that really gives you that whole experience if you're going to the drive-in you're going for to experience the drive-in and they're going to play classic movies fan favorites a lot but they'll have the new releases as well that you can enjoy and they're movies that you probably you're going to enjoy you're just getting that whole movie experience and you're going to remember going to it more. I remember so much more of the movies I went to as a, as a drive-in rather than just a movie theater because you're just seeing a movie. Another thing is you can talk during the movie. You can yell at your kids if you need to to calm them down. You can explain things to your kids. If it's a topic they have an experience or if they have questions, you can really explain it to them while you watch the movie and not have to feel like, no, you can talk. You know, I'm not saying have full-out conversations and yell and, and arguments, but you can really talk and really like get down to the nitty-gritty if you have questions, if it's a movie that has themes that have questions that need to be talked about. It's nice to be able to talk about that while the movie is going on rather than have to wait till after. So there is that aspect that's really good. And my favorite, they are cheaper. The tickets can range from $10 or so per person or up to like $25 per car. And either way, that's just way cheaper than going to the movie theater. On top of that, most of these theaters that we'll talk about play at least a double feature, which means you get two movies for the price of one ticket. That is an insane deal. Sometimes they do triple the features. And you can see even more for that one ticket. Now, that being said, there is a caveat. There's one downside to this. It is outside, which means you have to deal with the weather. So if it's a rainy day, it's not going to be as fun. You can still watch it, but you're going to have to be stuck in your car rather than having a picnic or anything outside. And another thing, they start pretty late. They probably won't start till. 8, 8.30-ish, when the sun starts to head down. So it gets really late the more movies you watch. I've never made it through a triple feature. I've been to ones that have it. I haven't made it through it. It gets really late by that time you get to that third movie. And your kids probably going to be pretty tired too. So plan on, if you got kids, probably only going to see that one first movie. That second movie, probably not going to see it because it's going to be very difficult to make it through that but even then you still get the value from it it's still very cheap to go to it and you have you get to experience so much more with your kids and they're going to remember it way more than just going to a theater that everyone gets to go to now let's talk about where are they where are these drive-ins they're still around most of them are out in the country in smaller towns that you may not have ever been to that doesn't mean they're not enjoyable. So you may just have to look around a little bit. What's near you? And where are they showing? So we're going to give you a list of a few. We're going to include this in the description as well as a link to a list of everywhere you could go. Some of these are very small and only have links to Facebook pages and not websites. Some of them do have websites. It's just they're all very different. They're all independently owned. This is a family-type business to have. It's not something where it's a chain of things. It's a unique experience because 
every place is very unique. They're all different in little ways. So let's start the list. First is Canary Creek Cinemas. Now this is in Franklin, Indiana, just south of Indianapolis. This is one that charges per person. So it's going to be different based off your ages. They do have a cheaper price for 12 to 11 and then an adult price. What's unique about this place is that it's actually connected to a indoor movie theater as well as an outdoor one, which is very unique to be able to go to these places. This is one of those very classic movie theaters or drive-in theaters where you have the poles. Now, it's a very basic, very, very basic drive-in, but they have, you know, a great concession stand and very family-friendly atmosphere. Next, we go to Center Brook Drive-In in Martinsville, southwest of Indianapolis, just above Bloomington. There's another place that charges different prices for adults and kids. You have to pay for each one, but under five is free. This is a blast-from-the-past kind of location. Everything there is grass. There's no gravel. And they do have a playground in front for the kids as they wait for the movie to start. And their concession stand is very robust with multiple options that you may not even see at the regular movie theater. A little farther south, we have Cinema 67 down in Spencer, Indiana. This again, similar to Cinderbrook, is very classic. They have the poles with the speakers. Everything is grass, and it's just a great secluded location to watch the movies, and they have great concessions as well, and kids under four are free. They charge per person at this location. Up north of Anderson and Muncie, we got Huntington Twin Drive-In. This is a unique location. They do charge by the person, and children under two are free, but this location has two screens. Cause you, so you can enjoy picking your movie. You can watch one, and then you can turn around and watch the other. Then we come to the Lakeshore Drive-In Theater. This is up in Monticello, Indiana, just north of Lafayette, Indiana, near Indiana Beach. So if you're taking a trip up to Indiana Beach, a topic we're going to be talking about soon, this would be a great option. Children under three are free. They charge by the person. And it is another classic location with one screen. In the concessions and right in the middle with your poles and your speakers and everything like that is a great location. Then we come to Mel's at the Starlight Drive-In in in Thorntown, Indiana, right in the middle of Lafayette in Indianapolis. This is a location that charges by the car load. Back in the day, this used to be very unique and used a lot. Places were charged by the car load. People would load up in a car. Load up is an understatement. People sitting on people's lap, people in the trunk. And these were the big boat cars back in the day. And you could get 12 people in there for one price. It was a good good deal back in the day. And it's still usually a good deal. If you got at least four of you and your family, you're going to get a good deal on this. Even if it's just you and your wife doing a date night. It's still a good deal. And as the name suggests, it's a classic 1950s style drive-in, and you're going to feel that nostalgia when you get there. Then we have the Skyline Drive-In, another 50s style name for sure. Down in Shelbyville, Indiana, the story I told at the top of the episode at the very beginning is actually from this location. It's a very unique location. They do charge singles, and children under two are free. But on Sundays, they can charge by the car load or individuals, whichever is cheapest. Good option to have another classic single, single screen theater that you would imagine when you think of driving. Then we head down south to Bloomington, Indiana with the Starlight Drive-In. Yes, these, these were all created back in like the 50s. They all have this similar feel, similar look. And this is another single screen location that has a unique option for you to go to. If you're going to go see a single feature, 
which if you're going with your family with young kids, you're probably going to go see a single because two movies in one night, if you can pull that off, I'm impressed because I cannot. You can either pay for a single feature or double feature and children under five are free. Tuesday nights are their retro nights. They'll play retro movies like League of Their Own, Spaceballs, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and these are all free. Then we go up to Wabash, Indiana, just north of Kokomo, and we have the 1324 Drive-In. And this is another location that can charge you per person or by the car load if you have four or more. So really saving you money on there. And they do $10 car loads on Thursday for their retro movie nights where they throw show movies like Twilight, 13 Going on 30, Billy Madison. And you can enjoy a cheaper movie, one that you will maybe remember back from when you were a child. And, and this is another classic, one single screen location in the middle of nowhere that you can really enjoy and take in in the movie. And we're going to close with Tibbs Drive-In. And we're going to close with this one because we're going in alphabetical order. It's still kind of in that way. But it's also a unique location because we've talked about a lot of these being single. One of them was double screen. This one blows them all out of the water. It's a four screen location. There are four different screens playing four different movies to start with. And they usually do triple features every day. So it's very unique in that aspect. If you can get through a triple feature, like I'm going to give you a standing ovation because that is impressive to go through a triple feature that doesn't start till at least after eight. Wow. And that might be something to do on a date night. If you are a cinephile, that might be a good date night option for you. But it's a unique location. It is near the Indianapolis Zoo, kind of in the downtown area. So it's centrally located. It's not a location that you will want to have a picnic at like all the other locations are because everything there is gravel. So it's more sit in your car or if you have a truck, sit in the back or have your lawn chair seats instead of a picnic blanket. And they do charge by the person and children under three are free. And those are the locations to go to a drive-in in Indiana. There's a few that are closer to the borders of the state line, but they're, these are some of the ones that might be near your neck of the woods that you can enjoy. And maybe you got the chance to try one of these during the pandemic. That would be great. But don't forget about them. I think that's what we always forget about. We always just want to go see the movie and don't make a day out of it. These are the most memorable times you can have to go see a movie. I remember almost every time I went to a drive-in to see a movie compared to just going to the movie theater. You remember the movie, you don't remember the experience. This can be an experience on top of seeing a movie. So, you can, yes, the quality of the movie may not be as crisp and clear. So if you want to go see something heavily CGI that will be crazy, you can do that. But I did go see the final Avenger movie at a drive-in, so it's not a bad option. You're going for the experience and to see a movie, not just to have a perfect movie sight. You're outside, you're going to see, hear sounds, you're going to hear other people, but it's not going to disturb you as much. You'd, you'd be surprised what doesn't disturb you when watching a movie. I want to thank you for listening to this episode. If you have a great story about going to a drive-in, let us hear about it. You can connect with us at IndieDadsPodcast.com. You can leave a voicemail or email there, or go to any dad podcast on twitter instagram and facebook we love to hear from you guys if you want to just leave us a note saying you enjoy the show that's great if you want to tell us a dad joke we could feature it on the show there's lots of things we want you to be part of this community it's not just me talking into a microphone which right now it's me just talking into a microphone at the very moment but the community grows through this but the community grows through this and our community is growing we're growing steadily and we're we're happy with what's happening with our community and that's the main thing because we're not alone out there you're not alone in being a dad that's struggling through things that needs things to do with their kids that needs to provide what they want to give their kids the best life they want that's all we want to do as dads and that's what we're here to do and help each other out so let us know connect with us we're excited to hear from you our community is better together and as always We're here because a dad's work is never done.